Okay. So I use conventional and more holistic medicine to bring down that threshold because oftentimes just good old fashioned antihistamines aren't good enough. Right. Because we have these things called mast cells and when mast cells break apart, they produce histamine. So antihistamines are like little Pac-Men that yeah. can come in and eat all the histamine. But if the parents, if the precursors, those mast cells yeah. are producing too much histamine, yeah. then those antihistamines can't keep up. Yeah. So sometimes I have to go to more conventional medicine to use mast cell stabilizers in the meantime to help tell the parents to sit down yeah. while doing more natural antihistamine and a little bit of gut work while we're doing labs to figure it out. And I've had so much success with eczema babies, just being staying patient and looking outside the box. And I'm giving these general, very general guidelines to to commonalities I see in between mm -hmm. eczema patients, but at the end of the day, every single eczema patient is different. It's just what is their trigger. Right. Um that and providing these babies relief. And the the thing that it like eats my heart up because by the time I get them, they are so severe that I love when these parents can come back to me in a month and be like, we've had so much less itching and we can now Good. tolerate leftovers and we've introduced this food Good. and we were able to take the gloves off, but it is such a long road because then you have to go and heal the skin and they've just been through so much that that part breaks my heart. Yeah. But I just want and adults or parents with kids with eczema. There's always something that can be done.